if you think that the references that many people have been making to Nazi Germany and to uh, Orwell's 1984 are hyperbole, if you think they're exaggerated, then let's take a look at some of the footage that is starting to come out of Boston. Footage of martial law, footage of the police going door to door and taking people out of their homes at gunpoint. Yes, this is America. And the footage is now starting to come out from people who are there. This is not the footage from CNN or Rachel Maddow's MSNBC. This is not mainstream media footage that's been blessed by the government censors. This is the actual footage that's coming out, and it is quite concerning. Photographs as well as videos that we're starting to see. And we've got a report from our own Dan Bedondi, who, now that uh, the FBI isn't holding press conferences, he's hitting the streets and asking people who went through this what they thought about it. And here's his report. I was Dan Bedondi reporting from Watertown, and I'm in the town here, and every business is closed. We're going to take a ride to Watertown to see uh, basically if there's any uh, military posts, uh, checkpoints, and so on, and uh, hopefully we can get through without getting arrested here. But I'm looking around, every store is closed, the banks are closed, the business, you know, the buildings are all closed, and um, there's a good look here, and we're going to drive around also. It's like a ghost town here in the middle of a business day. The KFC's closed, the gas station's closed. We're out of McDonald's, and it's a total lockdown. But you have police all over McDonald's. I guess they're in the parking lot here. Are they closed? We are closed. Oh, okay, thank you, sir. Okay. I understand. I know you can't get on this road. How do I get? Like well, you can get down this road. Okay. This, this is just a secure point for the police. Oh, okay. You can go straight. However, Watertown Square is pretty limited. Going straight, you'll see the next roadblock anyway. This is Dan Bedondi reporting. We're on Cambridge Street where they detonate control explosives, and uh, they're not giving the media no information at all right now. It's just people gathering around, we're asking questions, what happened, and uh, we just talked to a woman who... Um, is barred from a house that lives on the street. She's been barred since 7 o'clock this morning with no information given. What kind of announcements did they make to you? Um, this morning, um, they told us to put our clothes on and get out because they're evacuated from the street. Absolutely. And they give you any information at all as when you can return to your home? Nope. None. Uh, does it I... make you suspicious that you have feds crawling all over the place? Yes. It made me very nervous this morning seeing FBI blocking off our street. And then going down the street and parking in front of people's houses. That made me nervous. Did you get a warning on TV or the radio? On TV, yes. Okay, what was that warning? Uh, as, as far as like staying home or uh, they, well, they basically told us to stay home and not, you know, not come out. Your work was called. Because it was, uh, it was a, uh, what do you call it, in shelter lockdown all over Cambridge. Did they disclose to you when they knocked at your door? Did they disclose to you what was happening? No, they didn't. They just, not. just an evacuation. Oh, they didn't tell you anything at all while you're being evacuated? No, no. Um, did they give you any information at all when you could return to your home? No, they didn't. So you've been stuck out here for about, what, 12 hours now? Yes, yes. With the National Guard, you ever hear of Posse Comitatus? No. It's in the Constitution established by Ben Franklin. It prohibits the military to police on American soil to prevent dictatorship. I think under circumstances where there's terrorists blowing up bombs left and right, it might be okay to have the National Guard about. Oh, no, absolutely. That, you know, that's, that, that's what they're here for, to do that, but not the police on America. In other words, they, they're not allowed to arrest people or give any orders. They're allowed to help out disasters, but that's it. And I believe that's what they're doing. Well, I mean, we've seen um, National Guards giving the police orders and uh, also policing. The, they even told us that we'd be arrested if uh, we crossed different lines. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a state of emergency. Okay, now, so far, it's been, what, uh, about 10 hours or so, and do they give you information as to, to when you can return to your home? Well, I can, I can find information by myself through my iPhone, but uh, they didn't give any information. How about the re uh, knowing that there's a bomb over there right now, how does it make you feel? Not safe, but I think it's going to be contained, so it's okay. Anyone cross the line that we take into custody? Media, civilian, anyone, okay? This is a police state, yeah. But you're telling us to... The I'm telling you to cross state. the police line, you'll be taken into yeah, custody. The New World Order property, yeah. Thanks for serving the Constitution, sir. Right there. Are you with the media? Yes, media I am. Media credentials? Let me see them. Yes, I am. You see media credentials? Free speech systems? The number one alternative media in the world, so... Okay. Well, Dan, 
We'll work together or work separate. Don't matter to me. Stay behind the line. Oh, could you could you please just uh, tell us what's going on? Though? I mean, like, did they blow up the bombs yet? Or... Sir, your behavior right now seems to be a little rational to me. This is a very fluid and dangerous situation. So if you don't stop talking, I'm you're going to be removed. Press or no press. Uh, Sir, you questions. seem to be a little irrational right now. I'm not rational. I'm See, this is very... it's live on camera. Am That's I irrational? Excellent. Am I rational? I'm glad I didn't shave this morning, okay? <laughs> Listen, your behavior to me appears to be irrational, confrontational. And this is a very dangerous, fluid situation. If you're not understanding me, I'll take it a step further okay, and help okay. you understand. Um, one question, though. Uh, who's going to give us information? This is Dan Bedanti reporting for the InfoWars Nightly News. Well, another great report from Dan Bedanti. And as you saw at the end, that cop, you ask a cop a question, and first he's going to say, uh, where are you from? Let me see your ID. Next, if you ask him another question, he's going to say, you're irrational. Because only an irrational person would question the police state, right? Kind of like what they did in Russia. They said anybody that opposed Stalin was obviously insane, and they committed them to an asylum. Because you'd have to be insane to question Stalin in Russia. Well, we got another report to see what people in California think about the police state. Uh, we have Mark Dice out there in California, and he was joined by John Bound and Rob Jacobson. They were out in California, and they shot this man on the street. This, this petition is to support door-to-door uh, -door searches and uh, gun confiscations of the registered weapons since we have databases of them. And, we're just going to model our system after England and a zip code, please, to uh, confiscate. I always watch the news about the gunshot every school in Vietnam. Yeah, thanks for okay. thanks for your support. We're gonna we're gonna take those guns away from everybody and model the system after England. So I, I appreciate your support. They want to cut the police force by 20% in Oceanside. Uh -huh. We signed the petition to stop the police force from getting cut. We don't need Oceanside to turn back into a ghetto. I, I don't even live here, dude. That's OK. Just yeah. help, help our community and um, just print, sign, and a zip code to support the Orwellian police state. And we're modeling our, our system off of the Russian and German uh, Nazi police state, and we're just trying to do that here in a zip code to support the Orwellian police state, too. So right. thank you so much no for problem. supporting that. This is hard to keep a straight face sometimes. The Nazi Germany police states. Did you hear that? <laughs> what is wrong with these people? You heard what I said, right? All right, can I have a minute of your time? Just a second of your time. Uh, would you mind signing here? Uh, what we're doing is a uh, petition to uh, basically ban the Second Amendment in order to uh, stop these heinous gun shows from selling guns to uh, average citizens. Yeah. And what we want is, you know, mainly the criminals to have yeah. the guns. Yeah, and just sign there. Yeah, just sign there. Uh -huh. Yeah, just right there. Yeah, and then uh, your your zip code. Okay. Yeah. What? What we want is we want to go to every door uh, in the community and uh, find the guns uh, that people have in their homes and take them from them. Yeah. And that way we're safe, you know? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. You're a great American. Close the, I don't know if I, just print. Are you peeling? Yeah, it's, we're modeling the new system off of the England model, and we're just going to get all the guns off the streets except for the police and the, the military. So just uh, print your name there. We won't call you or we won't contact you, but... You, you know, what, what do you do? Well, we just, uh, we work with the third-party petitioning system, so we're just on a zip code to repeal the Second Amendment. Thanks for supporting that. What's the Second Amendment? Cal, you know about CalMed? No. The, it's like the Obamacare for the low-income families and the minorities. They're, they're, they're going after that, and they want to repeal that. I just need a, a name and a signature to, to help to support the... Obamacare free vaccination program. Just print your name here, uh, sign and a zip code. Mm -hmm. It's just a free. It's just a. It's a free vaccination for the low-income families, but they want to remove that 
and take that away. So just just print your name here, please. We won't we won't contact you. Uh, just a zip code, uh, or, or, uh, print your name first, please, to support the free vaccination programs with as much mercury as possible to inject into the children and a zip code to support the mercury vaccination program. Thank you so much for, no for that. We'll inject as many kids as we can. No, I support, Are, I support a second. You su why would you do something like that? Because it's, uh, Aren't it's you, a right. It's, guns are dangerous. People are more dangerous than guns. I'm not oh for gun, but I'm from France, so. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. Well, they have guns still in France? No, we don't. Oh, well, good. Thank God. Do you want to sign? Yeah, you just... The civilians don't. The civilians don't have any guns, so you just sign the petition to endorse the door-to-door -door searches to get the guns out of the homes, too. So door -to -door. I really appreciate door -to -door. it. What's your name? Yeah, my name is Mark. Mark? Hey, Mark. Thanks for supporting the door-to-door -door yeah. gun confiscations, so this, bro. So this is going to be within the next few months? Yeah, months? we're going to just send the... The police and the military uh, knocking on doors. The and military too? Yeah, well, they're going to do a, we're going to eliminate. Here, here in Oakland? Yeah, we've eliminated what? posse comitatus, and so the police and the, the military. The posse what? Uh, we've eliminated posse comitatus, so the military. Posse, posse, posse comitatus, so the military and the police are going to work hand in hand and go door to door and just remove all the, all the, Guns from people's houses. Guns so, and shotguns, you mean? Yeah, everything. So I really appreciate yeah. your support. Yeah, I bro. guess people are, are really having a problem with it. Yeah, that. we're gonna we're gonna okay. fix it. Thanks for your help. And th this is supporting the the police state, and we're gonna model the new police state after George Orwell's 1984. And uh, zip code, please. Yeah, right? th this is like I said. This is supporting the police state and the. Orwellian 1984 uh, surveillance systems that we want to implement here and uh, model our society after that. So I really appreciate you supporting the police state with our petition here and a zip code to, to support the police state too. Thank you so much. I, I, you didn't want to sign sign that? I can't do that. Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, do these guns need to be taken away. They're I they're do. frightening. I do. I, do. I agree with that. But yes. just, I think they should they should do some more like physical or psychological tests before they take away guns. Oh sure, yeah, for mental evaluation, absolutely. Yeah, Print to... and sign there to support the police state the Orwellian measures. We're going to model the. Uh, police state after uh, Orwell's yeah. model. So thanks for supporting no the Orwellian police state. So just print, sign in a zip code, just to not cut the force by 20%, please. Okay. And what this petition is doing is it's it's supporting the police state, and it's we're sort of modeling the new American police state after Russia and Germany's police state. Uh, zip code, please, to support the police state in America. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. We're supporting the police state. This this petition is supporting the growing police state in America and Whoa. we're modeling we're modeling our, our police state off of the one in, in Russia and Germany. So thanks for supporting the police state. And what we're gonna do is with the Obamacare is inject the kids with as many vaccines filled with mercury as we can and just help to increase the autism rates and the side effects so you just uh, supported that thank you sure dude whatever i mean like what's on tv tonight you know isn't that amazing uh, signed this petition to support the Orwellian police state. We're patterning, patterning it after Nazi Germany. And that's the truth. We really are. Uh, especially seeing that guy say, posse what? You know, when you remove historical references out of our textbooks to what happened during Reconstruction, we're doomed to repeat that kind of thing. Uh, there were some pretty heinous things that happened when we had standing armies. And it wasn't just after the Civil War. It was after the Revo before the Revolutionary War. Uh, we had standing armies there. All European countries did. And guess what they give you? They give you a continuous state of war, which we see now, and they also are used to oppress the domestic population. Now we see 
that America has become a profit center for the military industrial complex domestic use. And we're going to really see that ramping up, unfortunately, because people don't have a clue. They don't even understand what an Or Orwellian police state is. And maybe they don't even understand what Nazi Germany is anymore. I, I don't know. I'm Darren McBreen, and these are some of the new items that are available now at InfoWarsShop.com. Alert the public to Obama's blatant abuse of power with the new Obama t-shirt. Obama's joker face on the front and come and take it on the back. It's time to publicly call him out for what he is, a tyrant. Defend the Second Amendment with our top seller come and take it t-shirts. And look at that, women's cut tank tops and t-shirts now available. Nice hat. Plus, the Don't Tread on Me flag. And now you can become a micro distributor of the InfoWars magazine. Plus, get your own copy delivered right to your door each and every month. And if you're tired like I am of you and your family being exposed to polluted drinking water, get the Pro One High Performance Water Filter. It gets rid of all pathogenic bacteria, cyst, fluoride, heavy metals, and numerous other contaminants. So join the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com.